Hey there everyone and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda. We are going to enter level 9, the final dungeon in the game. And this is where Ganon is, somewhere. Okay, so here there's going to be an old man that says one who does not have Triforce may not pass, but since we have all of them he won't show up, so that's good. Okay, so this dungeon is just completely... Wow, this dungeon is just very puzzling and like half of the dungeon, like half of the rooms that are in this dungeon are just completely pointless. So yeah, so I'm just gonna take the path that you're supposed to take. There are two treasures in this, du in this dungeon, which um, there's one that you have to get to actually beat the game and the other one isn't required but still very, very helpful if you get it. And hopefully on the way I won't get my shield eaten by these light likes. Because I don't like that. Okay, so we go through this door. As you see, since we have it we have infinite keys. Also this dungeon is crawling with whiz ropes, and here we got Patra, and this guy is not very friendly. We're gonna have to deal with them later. Well, there, there are two points in this dungeon where we have to fight one. I think it's two times, so yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, get past him, okay, good. Okay, th this is this is a really bad room, so I. I have to go back through this room anyway, so I'm just gonna kill these guys, just... Like, at the very least, the light likes, and holy crap. Ugh. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, now, we use a bomb right here. And then we have another room with these guys in it. Thank God no light likes. They're bubbles though, which is also annoying because then I can't attack them really. I could use bombs, but I kind of want to save them up because I need a lot. Just to bomb out bomb walls. Okay, here we go, we got bombs. Oh, well, they work just kind of inside each other there, I didn't see that. <laughs> anyway, here we got the red ring, which is twice as effective as the than the blue ring. So it basically gives you quadruple the defense. So yeah, the auto, the blue ring was two times defense. The red one is four times. Extremely useful, that. Petra does a half a heart of damage if uh, he touches you. So, so as the little guys. I think the main guy does too, as well. Okay, uh... Let's see if we can avoid you. Not really, because you're not giving me the right position. Maybe I have to kill you. If you're not cooperative. Okay, fine, I'll kill you. Even the little guys take two hits, by the way. Well, oh, okay, well, I went for it, what can I say? Go to the next room, said, he says. Also, uh, a useless little thing you can do, you can hit the old man and then fire st starts firing fireballs. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Uh, should have waited to pick up those bombs so I could just use a few and then pick it up so I won't wouldn't lose any, but oh well. It's a good thing that I have a potion on hand because I'm gonna need it, as you might see. 
I mean, I already had a blue one to begin with, but I don't know, I might have to use two. You never know. Okay, so from here we just go right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the room drops five rupees there, but you didn't really see it. Okay, we have a required Fatra fight here. And this one has the little guys going in a 3D circle kind of thing. A 3D ring pattern. And it's kind of, And if there are like only a few guys left, it's really hard to tell how they're even... Are they even like going around Patra? What, 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 what the hell? Okay, that was weird. I just saw... Okay. What the hell? Um... Uh, Patra, I don't think... I think your little guy's a bit broken. You... What the hell? Okay, I've never seen that before. It, it never happened while I was practicing. Holy crap. It's a, He's supposed to circle around Patra, but instead he's, like, circling around something that doesn't exist. Oh... Okay, that's kind of weird, and, um, okay. Dude, you're broken, you know. Um, okay, I, I guess we'll just move on, uh, let's just pretend like nothing happened there. Uh. That was kind of weird, okay, this, the, this room is really annoying, because we have to kill these guys, well, we actually don't have to, but it helps a lot. The orange ones only go down in one hit with the magical sword, while the blue ones go down with three, by ap bleh, after three hits. Okay, this room is the hardest room in the entire game, of the first quest, as far as I'm concerned. Because you have whiz robes, bubbles, and... They're all in tight quarters, and you just ugh. Yeah, that that yeah, that orange one was just completely in the way. Ugh. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ugh. Okay. So now go down the stairs. And here is the required treasure we have to get. The silver arrows. We have to use that to defeat the final boss, Ganon. So now we just go back the way we came, back to where Patra was. Now, the thing about this level is, is that even if, you, like, usually all the enemies respawn, um, when you just exit the level, or just the dungeon. But, in level 9, they actually don't do that. They could actually just randomly respawn, even though you didn't leave the level. So, it, it's kind of evil in that way. Okay, we've got light lights in here, so... Uh, shit, shit, Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so lucky. Did you see that? I still have my shield. My magical shield is still there. Holy shit, that, that was just so lucky. Ugh. I shouldn't- I should not have my shield, I shouldn't be doing this well. <laughs> as far as that goes, I'm surprised that I didn't even die at all so far. I mean, considering I didn't die at all before going to level 9 is a huge achievement for me. And yeah, I'm gonna use this potion. Okay, now you have to get the silver arrows before going into this room. Because if you don't, you're screwed. You know why? It, it doesn't really make it clear, but... Do you see, did you see that door shut behind me? Well, that's one of the few doors in the entire game that shut behind you permanently. You can't, you can't just defeat these enemies in the room. This, this door won't ever open again. If you want to go, if you want to go back to where you came from, you have to go all the way around. 
I don't even know how you would do that, but I can tell you it's a real pain. And here's another door that's just behind you permanently. And then from here, do not go up because then you have to do. You, then you have to go all the way around anyway, and this is where you have to go to go to Ganon. So yeah, you, you really don't want to make any mistakes here. If you do, well, you're gonna pay for it. Okay, now. We got lot, one more required pass fight coming up, I think. We actually have two we actually have two rooms full of whiz robes. We have one more after we bomb to the left from here. Oops. Yeah. After all those fills, hit the spikes. Huh, okay, I, I thought there were wrist ropes in here. Maybe I got lucky and didn't get them to spawn or something. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Well, hopefully the light light doesn't get my shield now. I mean, it would just be kind of lame. But at this point, it doesn't really matter anymore because there are no wrist ropes that could kill me now. And at the f for the final boss, it would help. But with this amount of hearts, it should be good. <laughs> try, to be try to beat the final boss on three hearts. That's a challenge. Plus, if you're during a free heart run, you have to deal with the fact that you also will have the wooden sword as an additional part of the challenge. Because if you don't have hearts, you don't get your sword upgrades. Oh, I'm sucking. I can't do this game, apparently. Okay, come on, this should be easy. I have so much room and... Bleh. But hopefully those mini pass route thingies won't glitch out. Cause that was just weird. Also the blue part you cannot even hit before you take out all the little guys. But here we go guys. Final boss. Uh, okay, hi there again. You look very ugly. And um... This boss is really, really hard, but there's one trick. Just stay in the corner and just slash away. If, if you get, if you can get him in a pattern, if you get your thing, time your sword slashes perfectly, you can get him to get into multiple hits like that. And then Silver Arrow will finish him off. And we get the Triforce of Power! And a pile of dust kind of lying around there. Whatever. Die fire! I finally get revenge from the fire that killed me so many times in my past playthroughs. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Yay! Ah, seizure alert! It's it's Mega Man 2 all over again. Ah, finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. But not really, because there's second quest. Uh, and this is still the time where people used weird names like Ten Ten Maru Maru. I knew Ma Maru is circle in Japanese. Somehow I know that. Another quest will start from here. Press the start button. Shall I press the start button? Find out next time, which means that I will press it. Yes, I will do the second quest probably. I will probably take a little break for it, like maybe like a couple of days. And then I'll just have to practice the second quest because quite frankly, I don't really remember all that much from it. At least after level one. So yeah. But for now, just Take care everyone and see you guys later.